I can show you graphics like this of parametric acceleration. And it's all good. And it makes sense. And I can show you certain setups and hand, the way you should use your handle and hubs and centers of gravity. And I can draw lines and show right-sided swings. But most people just see what's different and not really see what's the same. But these things are important for learning. If we go back to parametric acceleration, I can show you pro after pro that's swinging thigh to thigh and because of the way we're built are using the same hand patterns. You can also see the head over the knee. You can see palm up, toe up. I can show you Y's and extreme wise, and that someone that has their head back like that will eventually have severe back problems. Or here, that at the strike, the weight and pressure is in the right foot, not the left. But it always goes back to that reverse K. Every single good player has that here. You can see again, the pressure is in the right foot. You don't have to be jumping up. You can keep calm and still the reverse K is valid. If you tip away from the front line, once again, your head go over your right foot and you'll have back problems. It's best to start with the K and just turn. It's the simplest of swings. Even the best player in the world at one time did the reverse K, but you can see his knee twisting. He was on his left side with all his weight. That's what he was taught. I can go back and show you articles, and I read them all. It talks about parametric acceleration, and it tells what it does for you, more compression, longer line of compression, all those details. But it doesn't tell you the how and how to get it. It may give you a drawing of hand path between amateurs and pros, but it does never ever mentions the reverse K, which is one of the basics, and that's totally ignored. So what I found in my quest is that I could read articles about the four ways of getting power, but if it never told you the why, what good did it do? You never learned how to apply it. They'd show you Jamie Sedlowski, and he's jumping up all over the place, but they never tell you that his club is four inches longer than standard, and that'll get you 80 extra yards. Even in their articles, they admit that the best player in the world at that time, Tiger Woods, didn't use all of those parameters for distance. He only used two. So I found that if I returned to the K, the reverse K, and I paid attention to how the body worked, myofascial lines, which I learned from Lee Como, that I could get better. You're literally... In fact, I could just grab a broom, do the proper setups, and get everything that I had just mentioned in this video, without thinking, without thought. I just swept all of the detail away and found simplicity. And I got better. I got much better. I started to break par. So ultimately, if you learn this and this and how the body works and that it's like a rubber band and you can stretch and learn how to stretch by simply using a broom without thought, you'll get better.